like a winner running up there. Nice and come on, Good man. And there's Grandma, Mum, Girlfriend Georgia. They'll be willing him on to be the first ninja to beat this beast. 29 rungs will be enough for victory. There's the buzzer. Slow off the mark and a bit wobbly to start, but he corrects it. Whoa, Only he's off. 30 to go, Zach. What about that noise, 25 Ben? 25 to go. Crunch, crunch, crunch. 20 he's to go. He's not going to stop. He's not going to stop until he to gets to go. the top. 10, Zach, stop. 9, Talk 8, about the 7. Zach attack. He's gone past Daniel Mason. Oh, Five, four. He's got a major wedgie on the way down, <laughs> but that won't worry him because he's the first Aussie ninja to ever beat the Super Salmon Ladder. And in the process, he set an Australian record. Zach started slowly, but that easier pace gave him time to find the sweet spot between speed and control. He stayed centred the whole way up the ladder and only fatigued on the final five rungs. His extraordinary muscle strength and strength of will carried him through to the end. And Zach Stoltz is our champion of the Super Salmon Ladder. Can you believe it? All the way to the top in 32 seconds. So he's the first Aussie record holder on this absolutely insane obstacle. $15,000 in his pocket and how fitting as well that he was our furthest fastest last night. This man is something extraordinary. Zach Stoltz! <laughs> Zach, a couple of close shaves and you got yourself going. What's it like up there? Oh, that's a pretty incredible experience. Like, we train some of that as all the time, but that's something else. We've never had a harness on our backs before. Like, trying to figure it all out is pretty crazy. And then, yeah, just thankfully I can make it work. Zach Stoltz picks up the first cash prize of the night and the very first medal. 35 rungs, 32 seconds. Absolute legend. Please put your hands together for the champ, Zach Stoltz. Face off on the ferocious Ferris wheel with Olivia Vivian. This really could go either way. Yeah, it's tense here at the moment. $15,000 up for grabs. There can only be one winner. What about this for her race? The first woman to ever go up the warp wall and the last woman to go up the warp wall. This is going to be awesome. Two of the very best women Australian Ninja Warrior has ever seen. Head to head. Here we go. Olivia Vivian jumps well. And Olivia hits the bottom first, but Andrea's only a heartbeat behind as both women battle to lock the wheel into place. It's so close, but Olivia is starting to open up the lead now as she climbs back up to 12 o'clock. She's looking so strong, Ben, and she's moving fast. I'd say Andrea is about two handles off the pace. Oh, she's just missed a handle there. And now Olivia presses home the advantage. She transfers to the pole. $15,000 in reach. She stretches now this for the buzzer. Here comes Andrea Ha, committed until the end. What a brave competitor. And she just manages a high five. What a head-to-head -head battle that was. Two of our favourite women on Australian Ninja Warrior. It was neck and neck there for the first half of the race, but at every stage, Olivia Vivian was just that little bit quicker. And when Andrea missed one of the holds on the final climb up, Olivia had the race and the $15,000 first prize in the bag. Ah. Congratulations. <laughs> Day. Yeah, not bad for a minute's work. That's Yay. for you as well. Pop that on. Olivia Vivian. Oh, 
Well done. I gotta say, well done to all the all the women here and Andrea. You really did start the chain of inspiration and getting us all going. So it's so good to have you back and thank you for what you've done to this sport. Yeah. How is this possible? Just to give you some sense of it, it is as tall as a fully grown giraffe. And it's one thing to get up to the top, but if you don't make it, it's a long fall all the way back down. This really is uncharted territory. This isn't about a national record now. This is the big one. The world record is on the line and Australia is going for gold. Oh, how good is this? I want to beat the Americans. I want to break the Americans right here tonight. Ben Paulson, can you do it? Oh, I'm sure as hell we're going to try it, that's for sure. Um, yeah, look, the Americans, I mean, they, they've been up here for too long. I think we need to take them down. We've got Josh, we've got myself. Let's do it for Australia. Have a look at it. You get giddy as you make your way higher and higher and higher. Nobody on the Record Breakers edition in America has ever gone this high. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. First up, Josh O'Sullivan. Record breakers for nothing, Ben. Let's break some records. Well, oh, now here we go. mean business. Josh O'Sullivan taking his stuff off. I might get mine off as well. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that. Look at him centre himself. This is mammoth. It is huge. It's like Mount Everest. Oh, my goodness. OK, Josh O'Sullivan has three attempts to set a new world record. It is held by the US at 5.79 metres. Josh is going for 5.8. First attempt, 5.8 metres. Go, 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 go! Oh, my goodness! Is he OK? I think so. Beck, there's a bit of faith involved in letting go because once you get up that high, you're free-falling. You have a courage it must take to attempt something like that. I mean, a fall of 5.8 metres, that's high risk. You could seriously injure yourself, but that's what these guys do. They want to be the best and they want the records. And I'll tell you what, wow. have a look at the replay, Beck. He almost made it. Now, maybe this was a problem. His third step on the ramp there was just a little bit off and his fingertips touched the lip. He was almost, almost there, Josh O'Sullivan. He was there. And then he was gone. He's got two more attempts. Is Josh O'Sullivan going to be better for that first attempt? He almost had it. He just needs another inch or two for that world record. Come on, Josh O'Sullivan. What do you do when you've already given your all? You find a little bit more. And here comes Josh O'Sullivan. Watch this, Australia. Up, up, oh. up, up, up. Oh. He's gone! He's gone! Oh, oh, He's done it! Josh O'Sullivan! It's a new world record! Oh. And the Sydney Olympic Park comes alive. We oh. just can't believe what we've seen. Sullivan takes the world record from the Americans. Look at an Aussie do it! Have a look around. The crowd here can't believe it. Check out Ben Paulson thinking, OK, hang on a moment, I've now got to do that as well. But Josh O'Sullivan... Oh, one question for you. How? How good? <laughs> How good? <laughs> oh, my God. You know, uh... I just had to look at the crowd because that was pure astonishment, you know? <laughs> I don't know really what happened, to be honest. I could see the gravy at the top. It was full gastronomy. <laughs> We're good. Well, Josh certainly learned from his first attempt at that height. Second time around, he planted that fourth step cleanly. That let him launch himself a few centimetres higher. And that's all he needed to set a new world record. Unbelievable. Josh O'Sullivan is now an official world record holder and he has first dibs on that 15 grand. Can Ben Paulson stay in the game? He wants the crowd to get into the top of this rising mega warp wall. He wants the world record and he wants the $15,000. He's just seen Josh O'Sullivan smash this height. Here he goes, 5.8 metres. It's game on. Two ninjas 
at the height of their physical powers. They both want the world record. They both want the $15,000 prize. And are they keen on sharing the money? I don't think so. Mate, how did that feel, making it to the top? I, th I just think I needed something to chase, you know. I needed some motivation. And after I saw Josh do it, I was like, I can't let it slide now. I can't let him have it. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> Sorry, bro, but you know. Ben and Josh are dual world record holders. And that means they share the $15,000 prize money. We have joint winners on the rising mega warped wall. You've shared it tonight. Incredible. We'll go for a cold one after, I reckon. Josh O'Sullivan, awesome effort. Well done.